in this video we will talk about the edit person profile functionality in this space and the space crease and the differences so let's demonstrate one of the most useful features of this space crease to really understand how this feature is useful it's important to compare the feature to the one that is provided in the standard this space we're going to search to impersonate a user in this space that has no specific privileges let's say that this is just a researcher that is in need to interact with our repository to create some content or to manage its own profile as you see we have a user here this is the official demo of this space and this user doesn't belong to any specific group so it doesn't have any special permission so let's impersonate this user as a normal user however i have very limited capability in this space i can access my profile and we already have a public profile associated with this user this public profile was created beforehand because this test user was also used to create a profile into the orchid sandbox so this is a user that we just created for our test purposes so let's visit the local profile on this space the profile is quite basic of course we have some of the information available in the orchid profile such as the name the mail address and we have the capability to manage the orchid settings and to edit this profile this is my profile as a researcher so i can edit it but in a normal this space this edit is really difficult for a normal user to understand and how to improve the data information available on its own profile and it's also quite risky because if you scroll down you see that there are a mix of information that are quite administrative and with information that are really belonging to their user such as the main address or the orchid id Look into the ORCID ID, for instance. It's clear that I can eventually edit this ORCID, putting some wrong information in it, and the system will allow me to save these changes. This will really mess the data up, and there is no support for the user about input the right value or to avoid mistakes. It's also possible to temper in some information, such as the date, when this profile was created or to have metadata that are not relevant for this specific record such as ADC type settings so with all this information we have just demonstrated how limited is the functionality to edit the person profile in a normal this space I was, uh, I was as a normal user I was able to edit my profile through but I'm not supported in doing that and I was able to make edit because my ORCID ID is now wrong. I also deleted precious information for the administration such as the prominence metadata. So let's look to exactly the same scenario in the space crease. So let's search for the same user this is exactly the same user we used before as you see also in the space crease this user doesn't have any special permission i'm going to impersonate this user and as before 
let's visit the profile of this user that was created from ORCID. As you see, the profile looks quite different than in the basic this page. There are a lot to say about the layout in this page Chris that is really flexible and configurable. But now we will focus just on the edit feature. So what's in here? You see that there is a drop down menu with additional option for this user. One is the possibility to manage the ORCID settings. The other one is the edit option as in the normal disk space. So to edit, the edit looks quite different in this space crease compared to this space. And as you see, this is much more familiar. It's similar to the user interface that is used during the creation of a new record in the system. You can recognize that some metadata are mandatory with the star. You have different input types to enter the information. And for instance, you can enter your birthday, entering as a proper calendar, and I can also pick some value from a drop down manual like gender and things like that. So one important thing is that also the ORCID ID, for instance, cannot be edited. So the space Chris allows you to configure metadata with different permissions so that not all the users are able to edit all the kind of metadata. Also, if this metadata belongs to its own profile, so the user is not allowed to edit the ORCID ID. Let's save this information. So now you see that we have saved this information and we have entered some information that are not displayed in the page. This can be fixed with a specific feature of the space crease that allows me allows the administration, administrator to modify the layout of each entity page just from the user interface without a need to develop any code or to perform complex changes to configuration file on server and restart service and so on. Another important example is, let's say that I want to update my personal picture. I'm going to upload the logo of this page to be used as my personal picture. So I have uploaded the logo here. This is the this page logo and I'm going to specify that additionally of this logo just to say, okay, this is my personal picture and now I save. So as you see, so our profile is updated and the space logo appear here in the place of my personal picture. If I need to do the same in the normal this space, this will be much more complicated. I should go to the B string tab, but I'm not allowed to do that. So the user is not able in a normal this space to upload its own personal picture. Thank you for your attention.